our first basic result is the multivariate version of the envelope theorem. You'll recall it's the same basic idea, okay? But it says that d u of x star. It's really d Lagrangian. D Lagrangian of x star d a some parameter is equal to the direct partial with respect to that parameter plus we've got the chain rule right partial Lagrangian partial x1 times partial x1 star partial a okay we know this one's going to be equal to zero plus for every x star so that it just equals to the direct partial So this means, for example, that if we want to know the effect on utility, right? So effect on optimal or optimized utility of relaxing the budget constraint, then that's asking what is d Lagrangian of x star dw, okay? And we just take a direct partial, okay? And that gives us lambda star greater than zero. Okay, so lambda star when solved will be the amount um, by which the optimal utility uh, increases when relaxing the budget constraint. Okay. What about prices? So here, we have to say which price. So this is DPI. Okay. This derivative gives us minus lambda star times xi star. Okay. This is less than or equal to zero. And it's less than zero if xi star is greater than zero. So this is an important thing to remember in terms of checking cases because in general, increasing the price of a good makes you worse off. Okay. But it only makes you weakly worse off because if the price of the good is such that you don't consume it anyway, then any further increases don't harm you. For example, in my life, if the price of a Ferrari increases, I am not made worse off because I'm not consuming Ferraris anyway. Okay, so those are our basic applications of the envelope theorem in multiple variables. And next time we're going to move on to the implicit function theorem.